uh, QPR fans on Players TV, home away. DJ Ranger back in the place once again with a, an after match review for QPR v Birmingham, which was played Saturday, 24 October 2020 at the Kyan Prince Foundation Stadium. Uh, my thoughts and views on the game, ladies and gents. Um, first off, um, it wasn't the greatest to, greatest viewing, to be fair. Um, loose passes from both sides, I thought, um, you know, didn't really get into our game, didn't really get our key players involved in the game too tough. Um, thought Birmingham edged it on, like, for clear-cut chances or close chances. Birmingham had the better chances. Luckily for us, they, it was a rough side or we cleared them out of the way or they badly missed. Um, yeah, so the, the first half wasn't m much of a great spectacle, spectacle to watch, I thought. Um, but then I suppose you have to look at the way the teams are set up to play. You know, was that because we couldn't break Birmingham down because of our loose passing, not getting involved in the grain, the tempo of how we were playing? Or was it because it was good defending by Birmingham and how they set up to stop, you know, they can sit the world game and it's just down to us whether we have to try and beat them. Um, so then, 0 0 at half time. Obviously, second half starts. I thought we actually started off quite brightly the first 10 minutes or so, the first half, uh, second half. A um, bit more tempo about us, which is, I, I think we played better. We looked a better side with it, with a quick tempo game. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, again, not really much end product. Final balls, once again, wasn't great. Um, and the chance we did create was partly because of that, because of the end product wasn't great. You know, better touches, better passing, may have been different. But you can, I suppose you could say the same about both sides. I thought Birmingham didn't really threaten as much in the second half, but, you know, there will always be a danger because, obviously, they've got some height in their side. And it proved it. The guy towards the end chipped over the crossbar. We were left short at the back. Now, whether that's because we're going pushing forward to try and get a goal. Could be other numerous issues as well. But, um, you know, they all contribute to the game. Um, yeah, it's another clean sheet, but, you know, uh, another game with no goals for us, ladies and gents. Um, is that a concern? You know what I mean? It's we, obviously Adoma and Dykes went off. Um, you know, Bond played. Played on and on. Um, but yet again, it's getting the ball to these players, ladies and gents, to supply. You know what I mean? Yet again, overall, I didn't think Chair really got to the high end of the best of his games that we can see him play. And the same with, with Bright. Maybe Bright done slightly better, but then again, end product from my, my point of view. Um, yep, it's finished 0 0, ladies and gents. Another point on the board. Um, you know, and another tough fixture coming up for us at Barnsley on Tuesday night. Where they done the double over us last season. Um, they're, they're my thoughts and views, ladies and gents, for the QPR v Birmingham game played at Kyan Prince Foundation Stadium today, Saturday, 24th of October 2020. Look out for the after match reviews and post match reaction on the channels, on the pages, and look out for Barnsley Way, the predictor, pre match view, uh, the vlogs, and stuff uh, for like the rest of the other games, ladies and gents. That's myself, DJ Rain, the QPR fans on Players TV, home and away. With an after match review for QPR v Birmingham, Saturday, 24th October 2020, at the Kyrie Print Foundation Stadium. Come on, you arse.